What up, squad? It's still day four. It's the getting towards the end of Saturday. I've been here most of the day by myself, but that's not really that much of an issue. Right now, I'm cooking um, one of my final meal of the day, basically my dinner. And I am cooking. It's a goulash of sorts over. It's going to be over some um, small shells. I checked the box. Right. All right. Now, to make sure that there was no eggs or oil or anything else like that inside of the pasta. And. The green beans, the green beans, the corn, and the beans that I'm using are all low sodium. And yeah, so today went really good. Um, day five tomorrow. Um, I'm just, I uh, did some more exercise y stuff. I mean, I basically just got up and I did like um, stretching and like some uh, power lunge, not, like not like a power lunge, but like just like um, stretching out the back of my my calves and um, what I've been doing just to to work my legs out. I'll I'll just put my legs out straight while I'm sitting on the couch and just holding up my um, my legs like that will start to have my um, Tops of my thighs burning, or I'll just kind of like like get up halfway off the couch and then sit back down and then get back up and then sit back down and do that a couple times. Um, and after doing it a couple times, my uh, my legs start burning from the the lactic acid from me actually doing something with them. My noodles are basically done. Um, but yeah, uh, into the goulash, I put, um, Mrs. Dash, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Dash extra spicy, I put Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash onion, onion and garlic, um, Mrs. Dash table blend, and Mrs. Dash original, and then I also have black pepper that I added on top as well, um, and then I added a little bit of water just so that there was something in there that would reduce down the flavor of it so that it would start to, because I haven't tasted it yet. I'm, I'm imagining it's going to taste beautiful. Um, I'm not really, I'm not adding any salt because that's what they basically said to avoid on the diet. But um, they did say that if you're going to add salt, then add it literally right before you eat it so that you're not adding salt while you're cooking it and it kind of gets lost in the pot and then you're adding again while you're sitting at the table they said literally just adding it at the end if you're going to use it at all I've been really restraining and trying not to use any salt at all I mean the low sodium stuff still does have some sodium stuff in it I've been looking for sodium free beans I haven't really been able to find any um the places I usually be looking for stuff like this is like Walmart um and uh, my mom and my sister have been really diligent about looking. I haven't been able to find any low sodium vegetable broth or sodium free vegetable broth, which is another thing I'm looking for. Um, yeah, we did get brown rice so that I can start making the brown rice. Um, hopefully I'll be getting a air fryer sometime soon. Um, somebody was talking about that. I said that I should look into that. So um, probably an air fryer. So that I could be cooking some potatoes and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I, I don't really have a problem with vegetables. I mean, certain vegetables I really don't like and I won't eat. Broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, those just, they don't do it for me. I just can't do it. The taste of them, the flavor, the texture, they're just no bueno for me. I mean, and that's even before I started no butter, no cheese, no anything. I really didn't like it even then.